Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. Uh, for today, I have uh, an exam question which I would like to solve for you, which came in 2019. So the exam question is over here. Here is the question, 2019. Paper 2. Alright, so, but before we can answer this exam question, there are some basics we need to understand. Alright, so here are some of the basics. Uh, here they have said find vector AC. It's very important to understand the direction of the vector. Where is the vector going to and where is it coming from? So in this case, the vector they're asking us to find vector A, C, is coming from here, A, and it's going to C. Where C is, is here. All right, so, uh, and you check, when you've been given the diagram, you check the arrows, where are the arrows pointing. For example, in this case, there's A, B where AB is being represented by this A and the arrow is pointing to the direction of A. Over here, B, C, the arrow is pointing upwards here, which is being represented by B. So for us to answer, it will, be, it will look like this. It will be vector AC is equal to vector AB, AB plus vector bc so you you, ha you have to make sure that you start from where you 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 started like here you see because this vector is coming from it's starting from here and it goes to somewhere here where c is so in order for me to find ac i have to go to a and then i go to b b c in other ways we can say uh, which other way which other route can you use if you want to go to C, there is AC, you can move AC. Now, which other way if you don't want to move AC? You can move A, B, B, C, or A, D, D, C. So that's what you can do. So uh, we'll get this, the way I've written here, and then A, B, we know it's A here, plus B, C, it's this one, and it give us this, it give us this answer, the answer which is here. Example number two, I said it's very important to understand the direction where the vector is going to. In this case, they have said we find vector CB. And vector CB will be equal to, uh, will be equal to CA. Remember, I said you start from where you started. Like CB is equal to CA plus AB. This is how it will look like. And um, here, if you can see nicely, and my A here, my CA I've put, my vector CA I've put negative A. So why did I put negative A? It's because this vector is moving in this direction, A, C. But what we have here is A, C. The arrow is pointing downward, so it's coming from A to C. So in order for me to show the opposite, I have to put a negative, which tells us that you are moving in a opposite direction. So it would be negative A plus B, which is this one. And then to write it properly so that it looks good, we'll change this negative A will come this side, and then the positive B will come this side. These are some of the basics you need to understand. So now let's try to answer the exam question. So this exam question over here, uh, they have said in the diagram below, vector OB is equal to 40 times uh, vector OA. So 40, I mean, sorry, not 40, it's 4, sorry. This is 4, not 40. This is 4. This is uh, 4 and O, O is coming from here. So OA. So... Uh, they are saying OB is equal to 4 multiplied by A, uh, O, A. So it means these A's are 4 
or they are coming four of them to make vector O B. So which means from here to here, how many are remaining? It's three of them. So that if we include this one, it will be four. And then they say vector A, A, C is five times vector uh, vector A, X. Okay, so this vector A, X is five times, I mean vector A, C is five times A, X. And M is the midpoint of B, C. So this is B, uh, midpoint. If this is B, this is also B. Because this is a midpoint. And then here they have given us this. A represents this vector and B represents this vector. So let's try to answer. They have said we express uh, in terms of A and B here. So what will be our A, B, vector A, B? So vector A, B will be equal to 3A. So 3a, why am I saying 3a? Because here they have said it's 4a from O to B. It's 4a, this statement which is over here. It's telling us that it's 4a. So 4a, we'll just remove this a. It means we'll remain with the three a's from A to B. Then we go to question uh, B where they have said we calculate or we find uh, um, AC, AC. So AC, remember what I showed you in uh, my previous two examples. I said, uh, which other way can we move? So if you want to move from A to C, we can move A, B, plus B, uh, C. So, if I don't want to move, if I don't want to, if I don't want to use this root, I can move like this from A to B, B to C. So, uh, what is my A, B? A, B, I've just found it's 3A here. Plus, what is my B, C? B, C is 2B. Where is the 2 coming from, this 2? It's because in the question they have said M is the midpoint. So whatever distance is from B to M is the same as B M to C. So this is also B. This one here is also B. So we we are done with this one. We can find now O O where is O O M O M can also be uh, it can be it can be found uh, in this manner is equal to b o b plus b m if you are able to see nicely the movement if you don't want to move like this you can move like from o to b b to uh, to m and our o b in the question in the statement here they have said it's four a. This from here to here is 4A plus BM. If you're able to see nicely, BM is B. So this is our answer. We are done. We now go to the next question where we need to show that O X vector O X is equal to this. Okay, so where is our O X? O X. So if you want, I want to solve nicely or if I want to find the vector or the other way, the other route I can use from O to X, I would say it's O to A, A to X. So this is how it will to look like. O, A, plus uh, A, X. So now, uh, do we have O, A? Do we have O? O A, yes, it's A. Plus, do we have, uh, do we have, uh, do you have A X? A X, we don't have, but we can manipulate A C because they gave us A C. There is a statement here which is talking about A C. So, get A C 
AC, where is our AC? Is 3A plus 2B. Now, instead of multiplying, we say divide by 5. Because of this statement, which is over here, we divide by 5. And then we solve. This will be, will be like this. We find the common denominator here. 1 and 2, 5, 5, 5 multiplied by A. It's 5A, the one I've written here. So you just solve, you just solve, solve here, 5a plus uh, 3a is 8a plus 2b over 5. So we can factor out what is common. What is it that is common here? 2 can come out, 2 into 8, 4, and then uh, 4a plus c here will remain with b over 5. So 5 can come outside also. Since we are dividing, it can come outside and will remain with this. So ends shown. We have shown the way it's supposed to be. So this and this. If you're able to see nicely, they are the same. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch more videos.